Welcome to Rigid Bodies in under two minutes, let's get started. So we'll start off by creating a cube, making sure it's in view of the camera. We'll remove the box collider and give it a red material. What do we have? We have nothing. Let's turn that nothing into something by adding a rigid body to allow our cube to interact with the Unity physics system. To turn this boring cube into a bouncy boy, we need to make sure it can hit things, so let's add back the box collider. One way to make things bouncy in Unity is to create a physics material that you can put on the collider, set the friction to zero, and set the bounciness to one. But we want to make this much more interesting, so let's give Bounty Boy some friends. And there we have it. It seems like they've been practicing their social distancing. Now let's give them some walls so they have a little room to play in. But the built-in bounciness is kind of lame, so let's build our own custom script for Bounty Boy. So we'll have reference to the rigid body on the Bounty Boy, and then on start we'll set its velocity to be in the upwards direction with a magnitude of 10. Currently we're adding force when the object starts existing, but we actually want to do it every time there's a collision. So now I've moved the code from the start callback to the on collision enter callback. So now whenever there's a collision, there'll also be an upwards force added to the cube, which gives us what we see right now. Some of the cubes have started dancing on top of the box, taking living on the edge a little too seriously. As entertaining as that may be to watch, let's actually change it so we add a force into a random direction as opposed to always upwards. Since we wrote some custom code to handle collisions for the bounty boys, why not add some extra logic so that whenever they collide, they also change their material's colour to be random. And there we have it, majestic rainbow dancing bouncy boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below. This is different to my normal type of video, so also let me know if you like this kind of style. Obviously, I'll be continuing doing normal tutorials, but I thought every so often I could spice it up with something like this. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.